Let's use face swap for consistent characters. My prompt will be a woman. Now, we have two beautiful images of women. I will not be using this because it's cropped from top. Let's use this image for face swap. Drag the image to the image prompt and select the advance option. Next I will select the face swap option. My next prompt to generate a character with a similar face will be a woman in a restaurant. I will not be changing this now. I will try with the default values first. For comparison, I will open the image in a separate tab and hit generate. Let's compare the results with the original image. Both the images turned out to be a good replica of the original image. The woman in white suit looks exactly the same as the person in the original image. If I look closely, there is a slight deformation of eyes in both the images. However, if posted on social media, people may not notice. The eye can be fixed. I will show you how. Before that, let's change the face swap values we left and try once again. I will increase the stop at to 1, and slight increment in weight, maybe 9. Let's generate and see the difference. We got the images. Let's compare all the images. Images in the center were generated having default value, and in the right, images generated with increased value. I personally think the images generated by default value are good if compared with increased value. However, this may not be in your case. We have to try a few times to get the best out of stable diffusion. The eyes are still deformed, not much, but it is. Fucus 2.5 has brought a quite handy feature for fixing face, hands, and eyes deformity. I have opened a duplicate tab to fix the image we generated with increased face swap values. I will be fixing deformed eyes by uploading the image into InPaint. The feature I spoke about is the masking feature I will be using to select the eyes. I select the SAM model, perfect for detecting eyes in the image. Next I will generate a mask. The SAM model had detected the eyes and made a mask for it. Now I will use the InPaint functionality to improve the selected area, and my InPaint prompt will be beautiful eyes. Let's generate. We got a new image with improved eyes. The upper eyelid has been fixed and opened properly. We can see clearly in this comparison. Both the images I generated using face swap had problems with deformed eyelids. Hence, generating multiple perfect characters will involve fixing all the images. But wait, what if we fix the deformity while generating the image itself? Yes, we can do that. This is where enhanced features come into play. Let's try it out. By keeping the face prompt as it is, I will enable the enhance option. Here, we can see the upscale and variation option as well. However, this video is not about upscale, so I will let it be disabled. I had explained this in my previous video and I will share the link on the top right for upscale. There are three tabs for enhance, or I should say, fixing three deformed body parts, eyes, face, or hands. These three parts can be improved while generating the image. However, right now, we are encountering problem with eyes only, so we will be filling only one enhanced tab. By enabling, we will be activating this fixing option, and my prompt will be an eye, from the below quick list. Next is the positive prompt, as we did previously, it will be beautiful eyes. Rest, I can keep the default. The SAM model works good for eyes. Further, in Paint I will need to select Improve Details as there are other features as well in InPaint. This is the first image. And this is the second. Now, Fucus is working on the eyes of first image. 
and then the eyes of second image. And there it is. We can generate multiple such images. There are few other methods as well for changing the face of our character. Let me know in the comments if you want a video on it. Should I create an Instagram model using such techniques? Let me know your thoughts.